the Times, the government's culpable failure to acknowledge the constraints on public borrowing has resulted in swift <coughs> financial crisis and political humiliation. You'll, mention, you'll see no mention of the word Ukraine. The Financial Times, do bear with me, to borrow from Ernest Hemingway, a government loses credibility gradually, then suddenly. The UK has proved a textbook example. Since Kwasi Kwarteng's reckless mini-budget last Friday, the pound touched an all-time low against the dollar, guilt yields surged, banks scrambled to pull mortgage products, and the IMF issued a scathing rebuke of the Chancellor's plans. Chief Secretary, no mention of Ukraine, total mention of Kwasi Kwarteng and the budget. Stop treating my listeners as fools. This is down to your boss's work, and it needs to be changed, doesn't it? No, well, if you listen to the reaction of British business organisations to the to Kwasi Kwarteng's uh, growth plan on Friday, like, the, for example, the Confederation of British Industry, the CBI, the Federation of Small Brit- uh, Businesses, the uh, British Chambers of Commerce, they all strongly welcomed the growth plan, and they are the organisations that represent British businesses. Do you, do you think they businesses. strongly welcome big, the collapse of their big, pension well, funds? Just, just, bear, just, just bear with me as I bore with you. Um, those business organisations strongly welcome the growth plan and the energy intervention, and it's their members who are responsible for ultimately creating jobs and for growing um, the economy. Look, the Bank of England uh, intervened exceptionally in a very targeted way uh, yesterday. Uh, the Bank of Japan did something in the currency markets exceptionally a few days before that. That intervention uh, appears to have been successful. The markets um, have settled. And what will ultimately, I think, be of importance and interest to your... You took the to pound your... to an all-time low. Is that well, success? I mean... God almighty, what's failure in your book? Well, I mean, it's, it's obviously, you know, I'm not going to offer a running commentary on the country market, but it has gone up since then, I would just respectfully point out. And what is ultimately important is that we get this economy growing, we get people's wages grow- going up. That is what the growth plan will do, and make sure we have an internationally competitive set of tax rates. You know, we're going to build expedite infrastructure projects like road and rail and energy, so we're... Uh, not importing electricity, we, we, we've stopped uh, the prospect of your listeners, at households up and down the country, facing six or seven thousand pound energy bills. And there is no way uh, that the government will or should apologise for having protected households from energy bills that might have been as high as seven thousand pounds a year. I think your listeners will welcome the fact that they're not going to be facing those massive energy bills anymore. 